Hello again. Now, as I mentioned in the last video, it seems that uh, the engine has been overfilled with oil because we can uh, we can check that on the dipstick. I've also looked uh, at a service manual online, and it does confirm that uh, the oil level should be um, should be about there. Um, on the thinner part of the dipstick and if you look in there you can uh, see the level of the oil so someone just overfilled the oil the engine with oil quite a lot so today we'll drain the oil and I believe that the oil drain plug is there so we'll drain that and refill it through there um, Online it said it takes about just under a liter of oil Just to make sure that uh, we got as much of the oil out as possible, I'm gonna go and use the Kickstarter to spin the engine over a few times. Let that drain for a while and uh, come back to it later. So I've taken the, the drain plug out and uh, this is what you have you have the plug um, then there's a spring that sits on top of the plug and then there's this uh, attempt at the filter so this engine doesn't actually have an oil filter just this that's why the oil drain intervals are fairly short they say to do an oil change every thousand hours but um, i'll clean them a bit better and put them back on when assembling it all back together, just uh, make sure this is as clean as you can get it. If you have a, a compressed air, that helps. If you don't, just clean it as best as you can. Uh, this goes in that way. So when putting it back together, make sure you've got the filter sitting upside down on the spring. I don't have a torque value for this, but uh, you don't need to exaggerate it. The, the plug itself does have a rubber washer. so. It shouldn't leak so I've improvised a funnel and uh, I'm just uh, refilling the engine with oil hopefully the right amount of oil this time quickly grab the dis dipstick check uh, Check how much oil is in there. I think I've put about half a liter so far and uh, that should not be enough. It's kind of like up to there. I think I'll put maybe, I don't know, a bit more just for good measure. So this brought us um, just just slightly over the limit, over the maximum, um, and although that's not ideal, once the the pump spins around, it 
it should uh, get oil to all the parts that need lubricating because we turned the engine over when we drained it um, that helped drain some of the oil that would have otherwise been trapped so I'm hoping that once we run the engine for a bit the oil would go through all the galleries and then the oil level would be correct but in any case it's a lot better than before whereas where before it was all the way up to this point and now we're kind of about here so it's still um, a lot better and uh, we shouldn't have an issue this time just give it a quick wipe put this back on so uh, we've got oil we've just refilled it and I'm just going for a start to uh, see if it starts No puffs of smoke. So I've stopped the engine and I've let the oil settle and now the level has dropped so it's uh, it's kind of nicely in the middle there.